Why do I keep saying that? I have no idea. Blue! Anyway, um, back with a video about little frogs and stuff. Um, I don't know where I'm looking. Am I looking there? See, who knows? Um, yeah, anyway, back with video. This is going to be about little albino spotted marsh frogs. I will put the name, I should put the name there. There? See if I can put the name there. I'll put the name there. It's probably gone now. Um, yeah, anyway, so basic information on what you need to keep them alive because I have a few for sale. There we go. We will go to the frogs now. Oof. Okay, so this is what I keep them in currently. They are 60 centimeter exoterras by 45 by 45. You don't need anything this big for them because they are only tiny. That, if we can focus, that is one right there. They are super cute. There will be a ton more in here. There are some. Was some. Let's try in the corner. There they are. So they're fast. They're not really a type of thing that you can just pick up. So they're more of a look at the pretty frog and don't pick the frog up type thing. Um, I will pick one up to show you how small they are in a second. Let me cut to that, otherwise I'm chasing a frog around and stuff. So get ready for it. And awkwardly I'm back. Awkwardly? Awkwardly. Yeah, that's a word. Awkwardly. How awkward. Um, this is a little baby. So that is my hand. He's gone now. Better go find him. I will come back with a bigger one. Here is another sub-adult. He's going to jump, but you get the idea. Um, very cool little alert frogs. So yeah, um, you need an enclosure, which is moist. We have water here. Um, you can have a water bowl, but because they're babies, they might not find the water bowl. Um, lots of places to hide, obviously. Um, this size enclosure, you would only want about three or four of them. Not 52 like we have, but these are babies. And they're gonna be split soon, or sold. There we go. I might cut to a few videos of different enclosure setups that I've had, and there you go. Any questions, comment below, and like the thing, and do the thing. Do the thing, there you go, thank you. Okay, this is gonna be dodgy as, hopefully you can hear me. I think there's a fan going, get ready for a dog to bark and stuff. Um, but anyway, this is one of the videos from, oh shit, I don't even know when this was. This is probably about two years old. So these are my enclosures. I'm filming on my laptop. No, wait, I'm filming my laptop. <laughs> this is how high tech we are. Um, that is sphagnum moss in the bottom. There is a spotted marsh frog that is just your normal het albino because I had to breed the normals to produce the albinos. So these are... Oh, there's some tadpoles in those tanks. I think if we keep going, there we go. So that is sphagnum moss on the bottom, which is nice and moist. Um, simple UV light on top. Don't need to heat them because they are in Brisbane. So anything from five degrees to 30, they're happy. There's another spotted marsh there. Very cute little guy. Um, these are 120 centimeter tanks. So I've split them down into smaller tanks now, but you get the idea of setup. So, and that was it. Oh look, there's some stingrays. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff like I just said. That's it.